Some live for the bill, some kill for the bill. Yeah. Yeah. She wine for the bill, grind for the bill. Yeah. She used to be the sweet. Some steal for the bill, if they gotta pay the bill. Yeah. Yeah. She used to be Too the sweet. Tonight's white clap ain't con, we see on the bill. My name is Sean. This is my BMW 335i. It's a 2009. I haven't had a single problem in the year of owning it. Uh, the only problem I had previously was a uh, sensor went out for my convertible top and it got stuck down. That wasn't too big of a deal. But uh, yesterday I ran into my first problem, my first major problem. Um, I was driving back from the car wash and my car said it was overheating and I lost power and had to pull over. At that point I didn't know what was going on. I didn't know if I blue something or whatnot. So I checked the forums and after reading for a couple hours and looking on YouTube, I couldn't find anything. I finally figured out that uh, my water pump went bad. So in order to uh, alleviate you guys from wasting time doing research like I did, I'll just make a video pretty straightforward telling you what happened and what is it that went bad. Um, I was driving and my overheating light went off yellow and then it went to red immediately then I lost power and but the thing was that my uh, gauge for the heat it didn't say it was going over it was still around 180 ish it didn't go past that so I pulled over and immediately opened my hood and I saw that there was coolant coming out of the cap so there's a lot of pressure so it's spewing everywhere so when that happens don't do not keep driving you will blow it you'll blow something you will make it ten times worse so after doing hours of looking up online, I finally realized that it was the water pump that went bad. So when you replace the water pump, you should also replace the thermostat and the hosing for it right at that point. Um, there isn't much to it. It's a, you can do it yourself. I'll try to make a video when I do it myself. I'm not an expert technician or anything. I know I'm a modest learner about cars. I don't know a lot, but I know enough to get around. So when you guys do this just be careful do not open the uh, do not open the cooling cap when you first pull over it will blow up in your face please don't do that when you get the overheating light and you pull over for a while um, open your hood make sure nothing's really bad and call the tow truck immediately after like 20 minutes an hour you will be able to start your car without any warning lights and it'll say it'll, you'll think that you could drive it but do not drive it because that means um, your engine's not cooling, and uh, after a few minutes, it's going to say it's overheating again. It's better to replace that water pump and thermostat or whatever else than replacing the whole engine. So just be careful, and as soon as that happens, pull over immediately and call the tow truck. So, uh, this is your uh, coolant. This is the coolant cap. So, what happened was the coolant was spewing out everywhere from the cap, so there was just a large buildup of pressure. Sign that your water pump is bad or hose kinked, but most likely your water pump on these N54 engines. Uh, it's the most common problem. It'll happen around 40 to 60,000 miles. You're almost guaranteed for that to fail. Yeah, my engine bay is really dirty. I just cleaned it like a month ago, but I live in Arizona. So, it's a struggle.